Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we will be reviewing the Converse BB Chef. Before we start off with this video guys, if you haven't followed yet in my channel, this YouTube channel, please do so. And also, please don't forget to follow me over at my Instagram account. It is I am Marches. Thank you in advance. Let's talk about this all new basketball sneaker from Converse. It is called the Converse BB Shift. It's another model from their basketball line. And I was really interested in playing in this because first of all, they look good. I saw them first at the feet of Shai Jilkas Alexander from OKC and also Kelly Oubre from the Charlotte Hornets. I was lucky enough that they released early here in the Philippines. And one of the main reasons why I got this pair because I was really interested in this pair because I really like playing the Converse Pro BB that was released a few years back. I have the white colorway and the Grinch colorway. I usually wear those on Christmas Day. And those have a drop in insole and midsole, very similar to some of the Kobe's. And the midsole was made out of React foam, which was really nice. It was really low to the ground. Plus it gives you a very nice impact protection for the forefoot and heel. Overall, I really like that sneaker and plus the traction on those sneakers were really awesome. I even played with them outdoors and when I used them indoors still, it was still gripping really hard. So I was really impressed on that model. So that made me cop this BB Chef. So let's talk about the upper first of the BB Chef. It has a textile material from the forefoot to the back part of the sneaker. Almost the entire sneaker is covered with textile material. There's a lot of fusing to give you durability and support. So you can see in this forefoot, this is fused here in the medial part of the forefoot. Then around here in the medial part of the midfoot, there's more fusing, this blue part that goes from the lace loops and goes from the midfoot. Going back to the heel part, these are all fusing to give extra durability to the sneaker. While on the lateral part, there's this very thin plastic here to give you extra durability to the material plus lateral support. Given that the upper is really, really soft, you can see how the materials are really bending. Right off the box, you don't need any breaking time with the sneaker. It's really the soft right off the box. And I will say, I was pretty impressed with the support that the BB Shift was giving me given that this has a very soft material. All the things, all the fusings that goes around the sneaker really helps out in the support and durability of the sneaker. Plus of course, this plastic piece here in the lateral part, which really catches your foot when you're doing lateral movements. And this really does all the hard work in the support area of the BB Shift. Plus on the heel part, you can see the cushion really going up here. This foam cushion really cuddles your foot around the heel. And helping that foam out is the internal heel cup here that gives you extra ankle protection, ankle containment for a very low cut sneaker. And I would say in terms of ankle containment, ankle support, they're good given that this is a very low cut sneaker. And one thing that really helps out in the ankle protection and of course the stability of the sneaker is how low the BB shifts are to the ground. We'll be talking about the cushion setup later. And some more addition to the aesthetics of the sneaker are this leather panels found in the heel part and even around the tongue, which has a very nice tumbled leather. And even on the back part, on top of the heel, is also made out of this very soft leather. This colorway is actually an NBA 75th colorway. It comes with this very nice box, this white box, with the 75th logo here on the top. And there's an NBA logo here around the side. Of course, the sizing is here. As you can see around the sides, there's some studs here or dots that kind of looks like a basketball. So that's a little extra from the box of the 75th edition colorway. I believe the other colorway had a black. Uh, the other colorway that came out here in the Philippines was the black and purple one. And that came with a black box. And this I think is special colorway. Plus the colors on the two sneakers are mismatched, you can see this has a different color from the other pair. 
there's green here. So this I think symbolizes all the team colors from the NBA, which is a nice touch to the sneaker. Even the tongue is different and the side panels are also entirely different. Now let's talk about the lacing system of the sneaker. It features a traditional lacing system, a traditional tongue, which is very easy to adjust your foot, whatever your foot shape is. That's what's nice about this kind of lacing system. And as for the lace loops, it has the straps. So it's just stitched around the upper part of the sneaker. It doesn't go down to the footbed, but it is still very nice. When you are tightening it up, given that the material is really soft, it kind of molds to your foot. Thus, the lace loops are inside. This kind of reminds me of the Jordan 35-34 lacing system, where the lace loops are inside. So it really kind of pulls the material closer when you are tightening the laces up and giving you a very nice one-to-one -one fit to the sneaker. They are really comfortable and I didn't feel any heel slippage on the Converse BB Shift. It comes with an ordinary insole. Then let's talk about the cushion setup of the BB Shift, which I was really surprised with. It has a four foot zoom in it, plus a carrying foam. I don't know what the foam is, but it kind of feels like cushion because it's not your typical phylon that leaves markings on the foam. So this kind of looks more of cushion. There's no branding on the foam part of the sneaker, but on the forefoot, it has air zoom here written on this plastic piece. And the difference on the air zoom implementation of the BB Shift is it is really close to the ground. I mean, literally close to the ground. When I was playing with this, I could really feel the ground below my foot. That's how low the sneaker is. If my memory serves me right, this is the lowest profile basketball sneakers that I ever hooped in. It kind of reminds me of the Freak 2s, but the Freak 2s zoom unit, I believe is a lot thicker compared to the zoom unit of the BB Shift. The zoom unit of the BB Shift kind of covers this entire area. I removed the insole and I saw the carving of the zoom unit, so it's this big, but it's not as thick as the ones on the Freak 2s. While on the Freak 2s, Zoom in it, the surface area is just the rectangular one, so it's a little bit smaller. Like I said, this one, since the zoom in is really thin and it really feels like the insole, then the textile strobo board, then the zoom in it, then it's the outsole. So there's no foam in between my foot, the zoom in it, and the outsole. So it's really, really low to the ground for all of you who really likes a low profile sneaker. This is a very responsive, low-profile sneaker. You will feel a bounce to it, but don't expect any impact protection in the forefoot. So it will give you a nice bounce back, but the impact protection is kind of lacking. That is one aspect that I was kind of disappointed with because I really like some impact protection and especially around the heel part, even though this cushion looks really thick, but your foot is sitting right at the half part of the cushion so it's really low impact protection the sneaker is really not that good but if you're someone who really likes a very responsive low to the ground sneaker i mean this sneaker is ultra responsive one of the most responsive sneakers that i've ever used because you're really close to the ground there's no delays there's no lags in your movement so if you are that kind of player who likes that in a sneaker, you will surely like playing on the BB Shift. Now let's talk about the outsole and traction of the BB Shift. Like I've said, I really love the traction on the Pro BBs. And this one also gives a nice bite to the floor on a clean court and a dusty floor. It grips really, really nicely. You don't need to wipe it often because of how nicely spaced the grooves are. And the grooves are relatively deep and the rubber compound are hard. So I think outdoor use is okay with the traction of the sneaker. But one thing to consider is of course the cushion because for outdoor courts, there's not much give on the blacktop and cement floors outdoors compared to the indoor courts, which has hardwood that kind of has the bounce back feel on the hardwood floors. But just for the traction, I would say they are okay for outdoor use. Plus you can also use this for leisure wear. When you're going out, then you're planning to hoop. This is one of the sneakers that you wouldn't notice that it's a basketball sneaker because the design is really slick. It's very minimal. 
It looks like a truck in my opinion, so it has a really nice design. And going back to the outsole, the outsole, as you can see, is not that wide too. But in terms of stability, because it's a very low profile sneaker, the stability is really nice on the Converse BB shift. There's no wobbling and the outsole is flat here. There's a small curve in the forefoot. Plus in the midfoot, there's a stability plate here, a small one. So it gives a little rigidity to the sneaker given that the upper material is really soft. So it will be more stable when you're playing with the Converse BB Shift. As for the sizing of the Converse BB Shift, go through the size if you're a regular footer. And for wide footers, I would recommend half a size up, but be aware that this is a very, very narrow sneaker. So if you have a chance to try it in store, I highly recommend that. As for the price of the Converse BB Shift, I believe it's 125 US dollars or 6,500 pesos here in the Philippines. The pricing is not bad and I'm really excited for the upcoming colorways because Kelly Oubre has been wearing awesome colorways and Shai too has been wearing awesome colorways of the BB Shift. So let me know what your thoughts are on the Converse BB Shift. Thank you for dropping by this channel. This has been Marches once again. I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.